Good morning and assalamu alaikum. My name is Khurram Shahzad. I work with RKB Europe as country manager for Pakistan. I also work with IDEA trainings as visiting faculty to teach uh, ruling bearing technology courses, maintenance courses, management courses. Today I'm going to talk to you about the most important part of the bearing. <clears throat> For example, bearing has outer ring, inner ring, rolling element, but the most critical and the most weak part of the bearing is the cage. Cage, of course. There are mainly there are three types of cages. Number one type is brass cage. The material, of course, by the by the name you can understand the material of this cage would be brass. It has uh, <coughs> very uh, strong material characteristics. Uh, you can use it in oil and in grease. Both type of lubricants work very well with this type of cage. But, but uh, mostly the machine designers prefer to use this type of cage in large size bearings and oil bath bearings, the bearings which are used basically with oil lubrication. You know, the material has a wear and tear factor. Whenever you will remove the oil from the bearing, from the machine, from the gearbox, you will see that there are some bright particles. If you will look into it in detail, you will see that there are we, there are particles of the brass cage which have been removed during the operation. So the brass cage has uh, three subtypes. Number one, M. M means machine brass cage, which is usually rollers, rolling element centered. Number two, MA. That means machine brass cage, but outer ring centered. MB, which means machine brass cage, inner ring centered. There is also another uh, type of the brass cage which is ML, which means one unit, one piece brass cage with no rivets, no uh, nothing like that. So there are normally two types of rivets used in this cage. Number one, brass cage, brass rivet. Number two, brass cage, steel rivets. Number two is steel cage. Steel cage is ideal to use up to 300, deg 300 degree centigrade temperature, mainly used for rigid internal geometry of the bearings. You can use it with oil lubrication as well as grease lubrication. So if there is any, any scarcity of lubricant within the bearing, this cage will not spare you. So if you are using a steel cage bearing, you have to be very, very careful with the lubricant quantity, quality and intervals of relubrication. So the third type of the cages is uh, polyamide cage. Polyamide is basically a member of plastic family, which is very uh, soft material as compared to steel and brass. So, <clears throat> so the, the polyamide cage has temperature limit up to 120 degrees centigrade and it has a, a very good connection with lubricant. You can have a very smooth performance of this cage if there is any type of any sort of uh, lack of lubrication or any if the lubricant loses its lubricating properties, this cage will even then behave well and will support you. And the fourth very rare type of cages is peak cage. Peak cage is the extension of polyamide cage which has 150 degree centigrade temperature limit. So these four types of cages are used in almost all types of bearings. So the important is that select the right bearing with right type of the cage for the right application which can withstand the machine parameters. 
नंबर वन टेम्परेचर नंबर टू आर पी एम नंबर थ्री लोड नंबर फोर द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द मशीन फॉर एग्जांपल द मशीन इज हॉरिजेंटल और वर्टिकल तो ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स विल हेल्प यू टू हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट रेटेड सर्विस लाइफ ऑफ द बेरिंग इफ यू टेक दैम इन टू अकाउंट इफ यू कंसिडर दैम वाइल डिजाइनिंग और वाइल रिप्लेसिंग द बेरिंग एंड डोंट एवर चेंज द बेरिंग नंबर विच हैज बिन मैंशनड इन द इन द मशीन कैटलाग इन द मशीन मैनुअल बाय द ओ ई एम बाय द डिजाइन इंजीनियर बाय द ओरिजिनल इक्विपमेंट मैनुफैक्चर यू हैव नो राइट टू चेंज द बेरिंग विदाउट एनी सॉलिड रीजन द बैकग्राउंड यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट विद एनी बेरिंग मैनुफैक्चर टू हैव देर कॉन्सेंट If you are going through a very uh, challenging situation, for example, if you are having bearing failure again and again, you you can contact the bearing manufacturer and you can ask them, help me. What is the reason why I am not able to get the maximum rated service life of the bearing? Maybe, based on the facts, they can help you. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again soon in some other video about maintenance bearing. lubrication failure analysis and so on have a good day khuda hafiz